Welcome to Y Lab, the makerspace located in the basement workshops of the historic David Dunlap Observatory in Richmond Hill, Ontario, Canada, where during the big restoration of the summer of 2020, the stonework has all been cleaned up, just as your language should be if you're going to be on amateur radio. This is lesson seven in our Canadian amateur radio training series, antenna regulations. This is another short one with a bit of memorization, so go for 95% on the quiz, which should be achievable after taking it three times. Antenna location. Industry Canada makes the rules, and their rules are pretty absolute. That's why they can put cell phone towers pretty much wherever they want, and you don't get to object too much. So, those same rules allow us to put up antennas for amateur radio. So, Industry Canada rules take priority over everything. Your local municipality cannot overrule Industry Canada rules. You will also see Industry Canada referred to in the questions as the Minister of Industry. Same thing. The local land use authority, which could be your town, your county, whatever, can have rules, but they must be established through a pre-established process. They cannot willy-nilly put in new rules to stop you from putting up an antenna. And those rules have to be within the Industry Canada process rules. Okay? And even if they put in a rule, and even if they're within the Industry Canada process rules, Industry Canada has overall exclusions that overrule everything. Okay? If there is no local land use authority, municipal, city process, whatever, then Industry Canada has a default process that applies. Industry Canada always, always, always has the final decision. Now, local consultation process. The local land use authority, whether it's a municipality, a county, or whatever, can set up a process. Now, you're not required to attend and have people scream at you. You are required to address relevant and reasonable concerns. Those concerns must be provided to you in writing. They can't be yelled at you at a meeting, especially since you're not required to attend the meeting. And the concerns they have must be provided within a 30-day public comment period. After that, tough luck. Now, some exclusions to this. Okay. You do not even require local consultation if there's an exclusion in the Industry Canada rules. And now, the uh, quiz and stuff and the uh, other test material tends to give you these big numbers like CPC2, blah, blah, blah. Don't bother memorizing that. You just got to remember that if there's an exclusion, you don't have to handle local consultation. Okay? Or there may be an exclusion in the local land use authority rule. So your local municipality and stuff may have their own exclusion. Okay. The local exclusion can be less restrictive than the Industry Canada rule. So example, if Industry Canada rule says you can go up to, say, X meters antenna height without consulting, hey, they can't stop you from putting up that antenna. But the local exclusion says you can go up to, say, X plus 10 meters. So they can't say, if Industry Canada says you can go to X meters, they can't put a limit of less than X meters. But if Industry Canada says you can go to X meters and the local municipality says you can go higher than that, hey, go for it. Okay. So the local one can only be less restrictive, and that's what applies. Okay, it's just a few things. We've really condensed this material. So go for quiz number seven. It's short and easy with a little memorization. Uh, run it till you get 90% accuracy or higher. And again, that's always achievable after three passes. 
So we're YLab at https colon slash slash ylab.ca. All the links for uh, the tests and other material are in the comments below. Good luck on quiz number seven.